you guys welcome back my name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to beauty with a purpose so for today's wait if you are new to my channel my name is Allie I upload three videos a week beauty bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video okay so for today's video I have for you guys my March favorites it will be up tomorrow today is Thursday I have to upload my Jesus chats today so it'll be up on the second sorry guys my throat hurts because I just filmed two other videos and Put some strain on my vocal cords but let's just go ahead and jump into these favorites and i'm just going to dig through this entire bin but yeah i'm just gonna dig through this little bin right here and just randomly pull stuff out but anyways the first thing is more of an honorable mention because i just tried this wednesday night which was the 29th or the 30th the 30th so these are these and i found these at costco if you watch my costco haul you will know but these are the hydroxy cut cut energy and weight loss drinks so these have zero sugar zero calories and like you guys i don't like the bangs i don't like the rains i don't like any other energy drink but these taste like a sparkling glass of juice and it's it's crazy i really really like these because i'm always somebody who craves the soda but sometimes soda is too sweet like this is perfect and i can't wait to see if i actually see actual results from this or not brian actually sent me a text yesterday and was like okay i love these go back to costco and buy like 20 more boxes of these and i was like <laughs> but anyways yeah these are super good so i don't know i'm pretty sure you can find these anywhere i found mine at costco but try them out if you haven't already these are the hydroxy cut energy and weight loss drinks so um well they're just called cut so these are the hydroxy cut cut like, like that's the name of the drink and then it's energy and weight loss this is the orange mango pineapple flavor these flavors are so freaking <sighs> i'm so glad that i like went out on a whim and just tried them because brian likes the bangs he likes the rings and i can like take like two sips of those so when brian opens one i'm like let me get a couple of sips but i cannot drink a whole can by myself that's another thing i like that these are 12 fluid ounces instead of the 16 so it's easier to finish but not don't but i don't know like it's just so good and your girl oh i just oh so it's like burn it burns calories boosts metabolism and enhances your focus and energy so that's exciting we love that just still don't forget to take your thermogenic and pre-workout and all that stuff because this is not that this is just for energy and weight loss okay the next thing ooh, always dropping something the next thing i got is super random and i got it from the dollar tree it's not so much about what it is but what it's for and that is a spray bottle <laughs> super random i know but i needed a spray bottle because i hate I don't like to wash my hair every day for one and whenever it's curly it needs to be wet every day and I just don't like making the mess all over the sink to re-wet my hair or having to dunk my head in the bathtub so I just thought a spray bottle was perfect it's what I used to fix my hair today I didn't add any additional hair product from the first time that I originally did it this week I just sprayed it with water and put added this little scrunchie and called it a day but that is why I really really love spray bottles like they're just I don't know it eliminates the mess it rewets my hair and it doesn't make a mess I just said that I said eliminates the mess but it makes it easy to style my hair for the next day if I want to do it down rather than just putting some water in my hands and putting it all up in a bun or whatever the case is so yeah spray bottle for the wind got this one at the Dollar Tree not see me trying to flex flex on them flex on them flex on them i'm childish y'all anyways <laughs> the next thing i got is actually again not what brand but what it's for and this is a leave-in conditioner detangling spray so this is the honest one this little the honest company one now this is the scent sweet orange vanilla i got this at target it smells really good it it's t it smells like a dreamsicle so like the orange with the cream in the middle that's what this smells like but you guys i did not know what i was missing with the detangler until i bought this because you guys know i love my little crush which is my comb brush if you knew here i got a crush and it's like a brush but it has like a bunch of little combs so i call it a crush so anyways but this mixed with that like mind-blowing phenomenal like 
somebody should give me an award for discovering things that make it easier to do your hair, to make it to where you don't dread doing your hair, but get you a leave-in conditioner slash detangling spray. I really liked this one. My only thing is, is this little teeny tiny bottle was seven bucks, which is at four fluid ounces whenever I just bought one from Heritage at Walmart, which is a leave-in conditioner and detangler for seven bucks and it's eight ounces. So just go with the heritage one, get you a leave-in conditioner, natural slash um, detangler and brush your hair with your crush. And I mean, thank me later, thank me later. The next thing on my list is actually this 31 Prayers for My Husband book, Raquel. And I'm not done with it yet, but I've consistently been doing it. I started it, I started it at the end of February, but I wasn't keeping up with it. But in the month of March, I have been consistently keeping up with it. Well, middle of March towards the end. So for two weeks, I've been consistently keeping up with it. And I like this book. And again, this is 31 Praise for Your Husband. And this is the second edition. But I love this book because I'm someone who I will pray for you, but I pray very generic prayers. Like, Lord, I just ask that your will be done in... We'll use my name, for example. Lord, I just pray that your will be done in Allie's life. I ask that you prepare her heart, mind, and soul to be prepared for your will in her life and that she accept it. Lord, I just ask that you open her heart for an encounter with you, Lord, and in Jesus' name, amen. Like, I pray very generic prayers whenever I pray for people unless they give me a specific prayer request. And Brian, I mean... I ask him all the time, like, hey, even during this book, and that's what else I like about this book is that it has challenges. But there is a challenge in this book that said, you know, like, ask your husband for any specific prayer request. And I ask him, and he's like, oh, I don't really need to pray for anything. And so it's hard for me to pray for Brian because even outside of this book, when I have asked him before, I'm like, hey, babe, like, do you need me to pray for anything for you? Or is there anything I could be praying over that you're praying over? You know, like, let's just stand in agreement together. And so I was like, no, like, I don't. And so it's hard. But this book here, not like it gives you very specific prayers to pray for over your husband. And then it also gives you challenges to try with your uh, husband. So Brian and I, we really love to pray together, but we often forget. So this has been a great reminder to remind me to pray with Brian as often as possible with every chance that we get to pray together. As well as, like I said, it gives me not only specific things to pray over him but even within praying for him it gives me a heart check so then i'm able to pray that specific prayer over myself as well and ask for forgiveness for not being that way that i'm current like for not being the for not being the thing that i'm currently praying for brian for and just let me tell you my mind has been like my life has gotten like i feel like a weight has been lifted off, off I'm, i want to cry right now it's so crazy but i feel like a weight has been lifted off of my chest because this book is not only leading me to pray specific prayers for Brian, but to even pray specific prayers for myself and asking for forgiveness. And it's like, I, I am just, ex because of the way I'm praying, I'm experiencing a whole new character of God and a more intimate relationship. And I love that. So, I mean, like this was for something that was to benefit Brian and my prayer life with him, but it's benefiting me and it's benefiting my relationship with God. And I mean, I recommend checking out just, I recommend this one because this is the one I'm specifically reading. But I mean, if you're not married, grab any devotional book that's like, you know what? So many prayers for this or so many prayers for that. Grab a prayer book. It's going to teach you how to be specific within your prayers. And I mean, it'll it'll really benefit your, your, your life with God. And so, yeah, really, really loving this book. I haven't finished it yet. A book review will be coming, of course, whenever I do finish it. But yeah, so far, so good. Really, really loving it. Curl Cream. I am someone who rarely goes back to a curly hair product because I love to see if there's something better out there. But I ran out of, um, I didn't like the Shea Moisture Curl Gel stuff, Souffle stuff. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way it left my hair feeling. And so I went back to the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Cream. You can find this at Target. I know for sure you can find this at Target. And I love this because it doesn't, for it to be a cream, it doesn't make your hair heavy, but it also doesn't leave it feeling greasy like the Shea Moisture one did, and that's why I didn't like that one. So yeah, this is my favorite curl cream. I really, really like it. I've had it in my hair for about four days, and this is 
just what my hair looks like with me just wetting my hair. I haven't applied any more of it. This is just what it looks like with me re-wetting my hair every day. So yeah, absolutely love this. If you haven't tried it, tried it. I mean, I think this is the biggest size they have. So if you got a lot of hair, I don't know. I fix my hair like once every week. So this lasts me a really long time. <laughs> Finishing up this favorites. Okay, so another thing that's super random is actually this Tom's deodorant. So I had a battery, like bad reaction with like a rash in my armpit with the Schmitz one. And I learned that usually it's because people are allergic to like the baking, whatever, baking powder, baking soda, whatever it is that they put in natural deodorants, that is usually what people are allergic to. So I didn't even want to try the native one. And plus I don't, I'm not comfortable paying $11 for a deodorant but this one is really good and I really like it and it actually has lightened my armpits a lot so I mean I didn't do much I just started using this and it started making my armpits lighter so I don't know try this if you want a natural deodorant now that my body is fully detoxed off of chemical filled deodorants even before I would never get musty but like I don't get musty now I will sweat but I don't get musty and I don't smell bad I've literally this is gonna sound terrible matter of fact it's been a few days since I put on deodorant because I don't smell and I forget to put it on. But yeah, this is really good. Okay, the next thing I have, and I need to just take these out of here, are these Frisca Nightly Reboot Vitamins or Enzyme or Supplements. So these help you go to sleep. And the nights that I'm having super bad insomnia, I will take one of these. And these are just filled with herbs and probiotics. And so this is just what they look like. And you guys, these literally, you take it 20 minutes before. So I take it right before I get in the shower and then I lay down and I am crashed within those 20 minutes, like crash. And I wake up early. Like, I don't know if you have trouble falling asleep or going to sleep or you struggle with insomnia, like try these pills, like, or these supplements. Again, these are the Frisca nightly reboot ones. Absolutely love them. And you wake up feeling refreshed and it doesn't make you feel weird or have bad dreams or anything like that. So yeah, super, super good. So one thing that I did fall in love with in March was actually the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydra, Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydration Foundation or Hydrator. I don't know. Anyways, super duper fell in love with this. It's a shade light medium. I love that how buildable this is or I could do super light coverage if I just want to throw on some mascara and brows and put this on and it still looks good because you can see like my skin underneath like you can still see my skin so I don't have to add the bronze or the blush the highlight and it adds that glow or I can build this up and use it on a more glam day that's what I really really love about this and it lasts all freaking day if you haven't seen my video where I compare this one with the wet and wild one go ahead and check that out but this lasts all day even through a super duper nasty sweaty workout so if you haven't tried this and you lean more normal to dry try this out not sure if you're gonna like it if you're oily but if you lean more normal dry try this out again I have mine in the shade 40 light medium if you are my foundation twinsy so next thing out of here not got, not got too many more things but I love this BH Cosmetics BFF Snatched Face Palette. You guys, a little bit of this goes the absolute longest way. This is super pigmented, but it like it's okay. It's dangerously pigmented, but it's easy to blend out. So then it therefore eliminates the dangerousness of it. But I feel like you could, okay, not super deep, but deeper if you're deeper than me like i would say like anywhere from my skin tone to even tan i feel like you'd be able to use this because this is that flipping pigmented and i have to be very very light-handed when i go in go in with this because i am leaning more towards light than i am medium right now but this is super pigmented but super blendable and they just apply to the skin beautifully and they almost even blur the cheek area so if you haven't already, I know for a fact that you can still find this on BH Cosmetics website. So do go ahead and try this out, you guys. Try to find you one because this, this, this is amazing. Pick it up. I love it. And then also I have to use very lightly to contour with this one in bronze. You can use this one for a bronzer or a blush. I lean more towards a bronzer to bronze up the skin, not contour. I use this one to contour and this one to bronze. So yeah, super duper love that. And the eyeshadow palette that I have been loving is, of course, my latte palette, my Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette, because I love how 
if I want to pull this out, I could literally pull this out and use the entire top row to bronze, contour, and blush and set underneath my eyes. I could use it for that. And even if I wanted to use one of these to highlight, I could too. But not only that, I love how you can go from super glam to super everyday and super light and super pretty. And these are pigmented and blendable and just so pretty and creamy. And they make your eyelids look super smooth. Like that's one thing I did notice about these is that I have very textured eyelids, but these make my eyelids look super duper smooth. And I freaking love this palette. This was probably my most exciting purchase for my birthday was my Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Okay, so I'm going to talk about these two together because I honestly feel like they could be dupes for one another, but I love them and they wear the same and they act the same. But these are the um, primers, the NYX Marshmallow Primer and the Smashbox Primerizer Primer. Love both of them. I love how they are moisturizing, but they're also pore minimizing. And I absolutely love these for that. And that's why I was like, I'm just going to talk about them together because they do the same thing. I could honestly be dupes for this. So the full size, I paid $15 for this mini size, $8 for this mini size. And I, the full size of this one is $32 and the full size of this one is like $18, bucks, $17 or $18. Bucks. So this one cost literally the half, half of the price of this one. But this is still really expensive for drugstore. So I don't know. It kind of just depends on what, like if you're going to go drugs, like if you're going to spend that much money, I feel like go big or go home and buy the Smashbox one. But if you're still kind of a penny pincher, it's kind of like just buy the marshmallow primer one, which is probably what I'm going to do because y'all know your girl likes to ball on a budget. So that's what we're going to do with that. Oh, my shoulder popped. But yeah, absolutely love these. And they really do make your makeup last a really long time. I will say that. They do add long-lasting makeup. Okay, so another foundation that I was loving for the month of March that I was really falling in love with, kind of for the exact same reasons as the Urban Decay one, is my Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. I have this one in the shade medium. Again, I love how I can go super natural with this or I can glam it up. That, like, that has just been the theme with me in foundations. If I can go natural with you and glam you up, like, give it to me. I love it. And that's, yeah, like, because I, I am kind of on the in-between. Like, some days I want super glam, but some days I want something quick, blendable, throw on some very natural lashes and let's call it a day. And that is why I have been loving foundations like this. And they're glowy and pretty for springtime. I mean, we're about to start spending more time outside and it's just about to get beautiful and you want your skin to be glowing like the sunset. Foundations like this are the bomb. Now, speaking of glowy, because if you're oily, if you're oily, but you want to look glowy, try this out. This was a favorite for me because you guys, this is full coverage for a powder foundation. I have mine in the shade Golden Beige, 140 Golden Beige. So this is a powder foundation. So you're not having to add glow. You're not having to add a liquid to your face. You're not having to activate those oils. But it, it first of all, it blurs the crap out of your skin. Like pores where? Whose pores? What are pores? Is what this does. But it adds a very natural, pretty glow to your skin to where I feel like if you're oily, you can get away with using this and get that glowy look that us dry girls get with dewy foundations. So I highly recommend losing, using this. Like I was like, okay, like filter on your face from makeup, whatever. No, filter on your face from, ma from makeup for real. Like find this, pick it up. It's like sold out everywhere. I only have mine because Karina got it for me for my birthday. But if you can find it, Find it and get it. So the next thing I was really loving was this Rare Beauty blush. And this is just her blush in love. I forgot what this one is, but it's the blush in love. It's not the dewy one. It's just this. But I love this blush because so little of it goes a long way. So I really do feel like it's worth the price. And I feel like I noticed that whenever I use this under my blush, I have color to my face all day long so this is super long lasting a little bit goes the longest way so even though you're paying 20 bucks for this i mean it's worth it because you're gonna have it for such a long time it's not gonna be here one month and gone the next because so little of it goes such a long way and i love it for that and for the fact that it's long lasting super pigmented and the color lasts like all freaking day on your face like i love that but yeah i have mine in the shade love Okay, and last but not least, well, it is last, anyways, is actually these Mighty Patches. Now, I bought the Duo Pack just so I could try both of them out and see which ones I liked more. And honestly, I like the ones that 
um, are not invisible. I don't know what those are called, just the regular ones. So it comes with it comes with the original for nighttime and invisible for the day. I only use them at nighttime, but I have a pimp right here and I'm going to vlog it. But whenever I use this, I'm going to use this tonight if I can keep myself from popping this pimple. And you will see that tomorrow morning like this, that white head will be gone. And at first I was like, I don't feel like these really work. But then I used it the way that the package told me to use it. And I was like, boom, bomb, life changing. Love it. If you break, if you get hormonal breakouts, get these mighty patches i found mine at target and i'm pretty sure they i don't think i've seen them at walmart but also i don't ever go to walmart i always do walmart delivery so when i shop at walmart it's very very specific for what we need for the house but i'll walk around the target all day but anyways yeah you guys that is it for my march favorites let me know if you're gonna try any of these things out but also let me know what your favorites were for the month i love you guys so always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.